Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Coogan Cassis, IFL TV, with delicious TV. I'm here with Derek Warchizora, all in green. We're nearly in green. How are you, my friend? I'm all right, fella. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what's this? But what's this, though? Yeah. yeah, but what's that, though? What's, the, what's up with the ball? That's the, that's the sponsor's logo. What sponsor's that? Wall Street memes. What? what? Wall Street memes. So so what's that meant to be? A bull with that's glasses? That's logo, yeah. But bull with glasses? That bull, look, look. that bull looks gay. <laughs> how are you, first of all? I'm good, how are you, man? Yeah? I'm good, what's happening? You got a pick for tonight's fight? South London, the Battle of South London? Bawatsi and Aziz? Derek? The winner of this fight will win this fight in round 11 and 12. Whoever who's willing to go to the other side, that's it. So you're saying a knockout or stoppage in round yeah, 11 or 12? Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's it. Okay. All right, not long to find out. Listen, let's jump straight to it. Big breaking news yesterday. Tyson Fury obviously suffered a cut in sparring. He's out of the 17th of February clash with Usek. It's just been re announced as being rescheduled for May the 18th. That's just come out literally in the last half an hour. Your thoughts over that whole situation? It happens. He got out, uh, it's an elbow. It happens. What can I say, bro? It's the name of the game. You know, this is why I use a, 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 a head guard with a bar on it. So I just protect my teeth and my eyeballs out. It happens. You know, um, people are upset with Tyson. But I'm like, why are you upset with the guy? The guy's in Saudi training, he's sparring every day. And this happens, it's part of the game. People were, well, I saw some of the comments yeah, yesterday, people, they're yeah, wild, yeah. Yeah, people are upset with him, I'm like, why? <laughs> what, you want to get in there with a cut eye? Yeah, it's just nonsense. You know, people should not be upset, it happens, it happens. You know, you can be like, put it so you can be like, three, four hours away from the fight, you're going down the stairs, you fall down the stairs, and you, you mess yourself up. So it happens, so people should not be upset. Derek, who does the delay um, benefit more or hinder more? Who do you think? It benefits nobody. It just damage the game and the, the, the name of the game we love, boxing. Do you understand? Because Hergovic is going to have to wait now. So basically, Hergovic, let me explain that to you. This, this is what I always say to people. Becoming a mandatory is the worst position you can ever be in as a mandatory position. Oh, still in what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because now Helgovich has to wait this year. There's going to be another rematch, maybe next year. And then after that, they have to do another something else. And then Helgovich will fight by maybe in the, in the next next year coming. <laughs> so he may have been the one that really lost out about this situation. Maybe he's yeah. lost out, bro. He's, they're gonna, maybe he's done. He should just retire, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Harsh, but yeah. No, it's, it's not harsh, bro. It's just done. You should just retire, bro. Because he's mandatory. And mandatory, you're going to sit on your couch like a good boy and don't do anything. That's it. He's done. Derek, this situation obviously affects Anthony Joshua as well. Um, the winner of his fight with Ngannou was touted to fight the winner of this undisputed fight with Fury and Usek. So that kind of has a knock on offence to Joshua's fight with Ngannou? No, he don't. No, he don't. Why? Because AJ fights Ngannou, yeah? Then he comes back after summer. He fights somebody else. All right, slight delay then. Okay, all right, I'll yeah, see what you say. He don't. He fight Ngannou right now. And right now his job is to beat Ngannou. We don't want him to lose that fight. Do you understand? So his job right now is to forget everything else, focus on Ngannou. And Ngannou is a tough opponent. Ngannou is coming to win. And right now, the South is back Ngannou to win, big time. That is it. So, it'll be a tricky one, but it's going to be a good fight. What's happening with you? When can we see you in action this year? Oh, soon. Soon. A couple of things I'm just dealing with, but soon. 
are we going to see any delicious TV and IFL tonight? Because that was a hit in Saudi. I have to say, it was uh, one of the highlights of Saudi, or the highlight of Saudi. I don't think delicious TV... It's a too small of a show for delicious TV. Ain't no disrespect to nobody, bro. So you don't want to, you don't want to go and pester people tonight. No, no, no. Me and you. It's, 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 it's just, I can't. It's just if I do pester people for you, I'll pester them for you. For I if feel. it happens, no. If oh, I do, yeah, I'll do. If it for you I see feel. an opportunity, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah I got, I, I see lots of opportunities, but I don't think that it's too, it's big enough for delicious TV. Well, your last interview as well with Conor McGregor and uh, Andy Ruiz and Chris Eubank and Israel Adesanya and. But Delicious TV, we've got something we're announcing big, big time, you know. Uh, we've got big, massive sponsor, OnlyFans, coming on board now on Delicious TV. Yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. Delicious TV will be in Vegas everywhere, so watch your space. We look forward to it. Derek Chisora, thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you very the rest much. of your thank night, you, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fuck off. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.